the name of which was well, under discussion. Under discussion. <laughs> they made me thirsty. <laughs> they definitely did. Yeah, living, way, down, like, living down in Tennessee all those years, you probably had some. Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember. <laughs> So I just want to mention that that song, I, uh, I meant to dedicate it to someone. I, I learned that song from an Irish musician named David O'Doherty, who was um, a large presence in the Boston Irish music community in more ways than one. Uh -huh. And he just, he, this is our first St. Patrick's Day without him, so um, oh. he passed away last summer, and um, that was the song I got from him. Excellent. Okay. So, Rest in peace, David. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about some of the places that you guys play on a regular basis, and since this is going to be airing, uh, during the week of St. Patrick's Day. I think you've got a special gig coming up on St. Patrick's Day, don't you? We do. Uh, we're going to be playing at the Seaport Grill. Uh, I can just practically, it's practically right across the street from where I live. So I can just, <laughs> at the end of the night, I can just roll home. Don't we're going to be watching that. you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so actually, we're going to be there from 3 to 7. Um, it's going to be myself with Roaring Mary. Lynn will be there. Steve, he's got another, he's going to have to cut out early to go to another gig. But um, we've got some other guests coming to fill in and be a good afternoon or early evening. You guys got a lot of pickers hanging around and that's right. you know, going back and forth and playing with each other and you know different groups and things. That's wonderful. Yeah, through the um, uh, regular gig we have is uh, at the Landing in Manchester. Mm -hmm. uh, it's odd Sundays of the month, the first, third, and fifth Sundays. Odd Sundays of the month at the, on the landing. The landing right in, in downtown in Manchester, Manchester, not Marblehead. Manchester, Mass. <laughs> Manchester, Manchester Mass. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we have a regular Celtic music session there. And it's totally acoustic. It's in the a room upstairs at the landing. It's, it's just a great room. It's sweet acoustics, just a nice nice size. Uh, it's a mix of tunes and songs. It's very informal. Mm -hmm. I, I host it with uh, Bob and Jennifer Strom. Steve and David often come to sit in and play Excellent. and sing. And other other people come. A lot of people uh, come and sing. It's, it's grown into a place where people have found their voice there and oh, know, wonderful. learning songs. and. So you recommend people that, that enjoy this kind of music and would like to maybe get up and sing to come on down? Absolutely. Huh? Oh, that's great. And is it kid-friendly? It's definitely kid-friendly. That's good to know, too. Not when I'm there. I'm not going We'll be there on, uh, I should be there after the Sunday after St. Patrick's Day, March, March 20th. March That'll be kind of our St. Good. St. Patty's Day. <clears throat> now, in the summertime, I know one of your favorites and one of my favorite uh, gigs that, that we get to do around Cape Ann is, is the... Uh, uh, Music sales on the land uh, yeah. with Tommy and Kay Ellis and uh, the beautiful boat. You, uh, people get a chance to see Gloucester like you couldn't from from like uh, on shore. And, That's right. And is not the once you get out there, you turn the motor off and you put the sails up. The acoustics are much better than you could ever imagine. No, it's, it's yeah. amazing. Um, yeah, I uh, over the I don't know when they started those music sales, 10, 11 years ago, and then about six years ago, um, uh, Laura asked me to host one because she was going to be away and I gathered some of my friends together and it was mostly Celtic and the light went on in my head and I talked to Tom and Kay about doing just a separate you know, Celtic music sale. And they, didn't, they didn't quite get it. They didn't know if it would fly at first, but, uh, but it's been very successful. It's the most popular one they have now. Well, yeah. Yeah, Tom, I remember Tom came to me once he said, so what is it with Celtic music? Like people like this music or what? Like, yeah, Tom, they, they do. Right. And, uh, <laughs> we have we have a great time. Uh, actually, starting last year, I, I convinced Kate to try a sale on Memorial Day weekend, and we sold it out. Oh, good. It's all it's all weather dependent. If you don't have the weather, you don't get the people. But um, we have a great time. Basically, we have a session on deck. Same thing we do at the landing. Yeah. Eight to ten musicians. We all sit around. Nope. Definitely recommend people if, if you get a chance this summer, catch one of those for sure. When the when the when you get the when the the light is right and the, the weather and the music, everything comes together. It's it's just it's an elixir. It's just this magic. It really is combination. Yep, yep. Yeah, people love it. Excellent. How about another song, guys? All right. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to do a song that's kind of become the anthem on the Lannan. It's it's not a traditional oh. song. It's a uh, good segue. Yeah. <laughs> it's a song written by uh, Robbie O'Connell, who's a nephew of. The Clancy brothers. His mother was a sister of, of theirs, and he lives down in Rhode Island. He's become a mentor and friend of mine, and he's a great guy. And um, it's a beautiful song he wrote called "Out in the Ocean," and it's about the anyone anyone connected to Gloucester and Cape Ann. This will and the sea. This will have meaning to them. It's about kind of the healing, restorative powers of being out on the ocean. Mm -hmm. We're talking with Michael O'Leary. Away, mm -hmm. away. Oh, oh, out on the ocean Away 